Good morning. Good morning. I'm Eric. Mm. Do you hear me? Can you hear me, everyone? Yeah. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Industrial Revolution. What do you know about it? We call it when new technology appears and creates new industrial environment and changes human lifestyle. So far, there were three industrial revolutions. The first was in the middle of the 18th century and steam engine caused it. Steam engine and development based on itself made human to make various machines and based on that machines, people started to build factory. And the factory bill uh, and the factory brought people material abundance. The second was in the middle of 19th century, and in this period, lots of various technologies were developed, especially car and steel industry. People started to ride a car and build buildings with steel. And the third showed up very recently. It was in the 20th century, and analog has changed to digital. For example, people started to watch television news rather than reading newspapers. Also, vinyl records has disappeared and MP3 files took the place. And as everyone agree, computer and internet has changed human lifestyle totally. 40 years has passed after the third. And now, we are facing the fourth. First, steam engine changed people's life. And second, many technologies were developed. And third, digitalization and computer with internet. And then, what's next? Fourth. Fourth. Right. The word fourth industrial revolution was, was first mentioned at 2016 World Economic Forum, which is called as WEF. According to WEF, the fourth industrial revolution will change human lifestyle with new technologies like IoT, Big Data, and AI. However, it has an appearance difference with previous revolutions. It's AI. AI, people will develop AI, and AI will replace human's job. And one day, AI can excel human's intelligence. And then, we don't know what will be happen. I think it's why it's called revolution, isn't it? Now, you know what is the industrial revolution is. Then I will discuss about some points of the fourth industrial revolution. The first point is IoT. IoT is short term of Internet of Things. It means a technology which makes people, uh, which makes machines, devices to inter ex exchange their information, send and receive their information by, the, by themselves. We can easily find devices which are connected to the Internet, like this laptop or the cell phone. However, IoT has a little bit. IoT is a little bit different from present kinds of uh, present devices. If the world uh, so far, those devices were uh, those devices needed humans control, right? We need to click and touch. But if the world of IoT opens, they will. Uh, we don't need to touch them. They will do they, they will do their job by themselves. They will send and receive information which they need. For example, automatic uh, autopilot function of cars. Cars and road and signal lights will exchange their information, and that makes car to bring his passenger to a destination fast and safely. In 1990s. About a million of computers were connected to the internet. After 10 years, 2000, about 100 million of laptops were connected to the internet. In 2017, 
present. About 12 billion of cell phones and tablet PCs are connected to the internet. If we follow this pace, everything in this world, whole thing is, go is, be is gonna be connected in short time. The second point is big data. Market Research Institution, IDC, defines de defined big data technology as a technology we can extract valuable data from enormous and various data, like dummy. Since it has been used in various fields usefully, people started to call it as oil, oil from the ground, black one and sticky. Without oil, a machine won't work. And without big data, I mean without data, companies won't work also. It is issue-like because big data is tremendous amount of data. However, there is one more reason. As data get accumulated, they're gonna, we can find some patterns in, in that. And if we analyze that pattern, we can predict future. It would be helpful your understanding if you think about recommend recommendation system of YouTube or Melon. You didn't provide them you didn't provide them any information, but they find and suggest you videos or some music you wanted based on your research history. It's kind of big data. And the third keyword is AI. AI is a short term for artificial intelligence. And do you remember this game? I can assure that among the list of most important events in 2016, there will be Go game between AlphaGo and Lisetto. After this game, news about AI made headlines around the world. It was a very hot topic. Definition of AI is technology which makes computers to think and learn like human, making a human brain. We can create enormous, uh, I mean, unimaginable benefit from AI part, like Google pharmacist, uh, Google pharmacist, or uh, Google pharmacist, AI pharmacist, or automatic translation. However, there are some voices and worries. Do you know the movie Terminator or Matrix? You know? Hmm. Well, they are very famous and their main content is about rebel of AI. Some people might think it is just a theme of fiction, but many people think it is many people may think it is quite plausible scenario. Sharon, can you please read this? Right. Stephen Hawking. Woody, can you please read this quotation? With artificial intelligence, we are some of the Elon Musk, who is CEO of the company Tesla. Like these examples, many people are expressing worry about overdevelopment of artificial intelligence. So it has benefits, also it has worries. Therefore, it is still a very controversial topic. This is the relationship among these three points. First, Devices all around the world will exchange their information through IoT. And their shared data and accumulated data is called big data. And AI will extract some valuable data from this dummy, which is very enormous. And AI will serve refined data or information or service to human. 
So now, do you know what is the fourth industrial revolution is? Then let's move on to some examples of the fourth industrial revolutions, which we can see right now. First, smart farm. Do you mean it? I thought that working in a farm is kind of hard labor. Hard labor. So I really respect my brothers or seniors who work in farm as a job of working holiday. Maybe that's why the news grabbed my attention. The news was about smart farm, and according to the news, most of chores were done by machines automatically. AI will provide the best environment for the crops, like proper sunlight, proper humidity, or rate of oxygen. If it, if it is raining outside like that, AI will give less water, and if, it, and if the sunlight is too strong, AI will close the seal. Furthermore, moreover, we don't need to spray pesticide by ourselves. A drug which pesticide by itself has been developed. But it is used, it is used in only some farms until now. But it's expanding its realm rapidly. Same with smart farm. According to 2012 Korean Communication Commission's report, in Korea there were only 100, 150 farms which accepted smart farm system. But it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Rapidly. Like this, technologists technologists contributed to contributed for development of agriculture. How about in our home, which is the closest to us? Smart home. Do you know Siri? Google Assistant and Alexa? In there are in this world, there are lots of supporting AI like them. But among them, Alexa from Amazon.com Amazon.com, Alexa from Amazon.com puts the most efforts on the part of smart home. Alexa can do quite many things like being a weather caster, being a news anchor, teach some recipes, or call to someone. Like this. Eloise, dinner in five. <laughs> Alexa, tell me about the Amazon Echo. Amazon Echo is a device designed around your voice that can provide information, music, news, weather, and more. Okay, cool. Alexa, how many teaspoons in a tablespoon? One tablespoon equals three teaspoons. Alexa, put on my Saturday playlist. Playing your Saturday playlist. Alexa, volume up. Alexa, who is this? This is Weekend by Kim. Not bad. Oh, good timing. Here you go. Enjoying that? Mm. I'm really pleased. Alexa, add stir-fry vegetables to my shopping list. I've put stir-fry vegetables on your shopping list. Alexa, what's on my calendar tomorrow? At 12 p.m. there's Sam's birthday picnic in the park. Alexa? What's the weather like tomorrow? Tomorrow, it will be sunny with a high of 25 and a low of 19 degrees. That's lucky. Watch this. Alexa, tell us a joke. Where does the polar bear keep its money? In the snowbank. <laughs> the old constable's waiting, and as if nothing had happened since Lara was born, the boat mother gathered her into her great arms and kissed her before bearing her off to bed. Alexa, audio book off. Okay. Uh, Time for bed. Alexa, living room lights off. Amazing, isn't it? Yes. Really, I want to get one. 
like this, the fourth industrial revolution can bring us lots of benefits. It is just an example. But how, however, everything in this world are, as everything in this world in this world are, it can be also double-edged words. First, information security. As I mentioned before, everything in this world is going to be connected. Everything is going to be connected. And it means if one is damaged, everything will be damaged also, like domino. So that's why the world is paying more attention on it, on this topic, information security. For visible instance, there was a conference about information security in Singapore, maybe this, ah, in this February. Also in Seoul, a few days ago, there was a synapse seminar about protection of information. As you can see, as you can see through, this, through these examples, the world is paying more attention on it and it means it is one of the biggest it is one of the biggest homework for us to establish the fourth industrial revolution completely. The second problem is less employment. Even now, we are suffering from less employment. Agree? Actually, since 20th century, people developed machines which can replace human labor. <laughs> but now, uh, but in near future, if AI is fully developed, AI will eat, replace our job more and more. And it will make us to reach climax of employment crisis. <sighs> Hard to live. Right. According to 2013's Oxford Martin School's re report, 99% of telemarketer and ticket <coughs> ticket office employee will be disappeared in 20 years. Also, 98% of sports referee and eight, nine, uh, 89% of taxi driver won't be in this world anymore. In 20 years. Even now, taxi company Uber, Uber is testing non-human uh, automatic pilot, uh, autopilot, autopilot tic taxi in California, USA. And in Korea's case, if we call to SKT or KT, non-human kind voice will answer us and help us to solve their pro our problems, right? Like these examples, the fourth industrial revolution is melting into our life gradually. But its speed is very fast, not like ice cream. So if you don't care about what is changing near our life, and one day suddenly you open eyes, open your eyes, and it's gonna be a totally different world. About 200 years ago, Ah, uh, no, no. The fourth industrial revolution will bring us big changes. Everything in this world, whole thing, will be connected to each other. And information is going to be the power. And AI will support human. Can you please read this quotation? <laughs> right. It is not the strongest of the species that survives nor the most intelligent that survives. It is, it is the one that is the most adaptable to change. As he said, adapting to a new environment is very important. And now, 
a huge wave is coming and its name is the fourth industrial revolution. Are you ready to take part in that revolution? <laughs> Thank you.